the anime uprising. Today, we're playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh yeah. I heard lots of things about this game, and let's get right down to it, shall we? This game is also really bad, okay? Come on, I don't care if I'm a real name. I'm Colby, man. I'm Colby. Yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> hey! I can't do a girl voice with this. My, my voice is too terrible. I see an, an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might be drawing to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor, and good friends since we were children. You know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other so, so for so long. We used to walk t to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently and would we'll get tired of waiting up. And I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me after me like this, I almost feel like running away. I, I almost feel like feel better off running away. By the way, guys, uh, my reading skills are <laughs> up to par, so just letting you know. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let's say where he up to me. Huh. Huh. I overslept again. <clears throat> Damn, I can't do it no more. But I got you this time. Maybe, but... But only because I had to stop and wait for you. Eh? You say that like you're go you were going to ignore... You're thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Kobe. <laughs> That's a weird saying my name, but it's like, because you don't say your name in games like this, it's just weird. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. She's, she's, she's okay looking. Fine, fine. But you didn't wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if you ever want to. If you want to. What do you say, sorry? This game seems actually pretty fun. <laughs> Frick, that was the worst trying to be cute lap ever. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Colby, have you decided on, on, on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Uh-huh. That's not true. You told me you, you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Zoe likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just by getting it all. On the on the average, while spending my free time on games and anime, this guy is actually me. <clears throat> Freak, my voice is terrible. But this guy is actually me. Like that's what I do. I try to get average and play, playing games and anime. That's what I do. Except, well, YouTube also. Uh huh. I was talking about how how I was worried that you wouldn't learn how uh, to socialize and or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And you're gonna, and I know you're you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a need in a few years because you you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? I was totally late on that line, but sure, sorry. Don't make me keep don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'm looking. Look at a few clubs if that makes you happy. No promises, though. Well, you at least promise me you'll try a little. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I, I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. 
the school day is as no ordinary as ever. And it's over before I know it. After I pack my things, I start blankly at the wall looking for it. I want some motivation. Clubs. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Oh! That's where I'd start too. Hello! Sayori? Sorry, I must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of this out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait for up uh, for me, you know. If it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, you know, what, you, wait, you know what? Well, thought you could come to my club? Damn, that was terrible voice crack right there. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, me, me. Sayori is the vice president of the literature, literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had an in, in interest in literature. I'm not yet percent sure that she only did it because she thought it would be a fun to help start up a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest in just after the, the one who was proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. <laughs> yeah. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring a new member. And that's key made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell us. So I can't tell us so is really... That much of an airhead, or she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. And then I'm alongside. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! You know what sucks? Um, this is actually. I don't want to announce it, I'm gonna announce this, but this is actually take two. Because, like, I got up to, like, that part, a little alongside part, and now. I'm here, and I gotta do a whole bunch more stuff again, like, this was such a long part, like, I missed, like, 20, or take minutes, so now we gotta go through this again, so I might read this, I might go through it a lot more faster than last, for the first time, so be prepared for a bit more fast reading. And thus, today marks the end of, marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake, I dejectedly follow, Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I really visit, really ge being generally used for the third year student classes, and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, this is the new member is here. I told you, who we'll call me new member? <clears throat> oh, I'll, I'll put accent to the point. I'll, I'll just let it roll off. I was like, my, oh. Huh? I glanced around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you. Also, I'm not doing voices because um, I. I get really crackly. My voice gets really crackly, so it's really hard. I'm very sorry for that. Oh, but yeah, I'm not gonna do voices, so just prepare for this stuff for that. My ear hurts so much. I wish I had my Yeti, but I don't. Welcome to Ledger Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy. Way to kill that atmosphere. Ah, Kobe missed it. What is my nice surprise? Welcome to the club. All words that you're escaping from this, this club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. So sorry. Not ski. Hmm. This girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is 
this morning to recognize. Her small figure makes you think that she's probably a first year. She is also one, the one who makes who made cupcakes according to, to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Okay. Okay, we're finally here. That's Yuri, that's Natsuki, and that's Sayori. I'm just making Oh wait. So blah purple? Yuri. Pink. Uh, Natsuki. Very sorry. Uh, I messed up the audio or the gameplay a little bit, so I had to cut a part out and just I press skip so the audio dialogue skips or it's gonna skip. So yeah. And reddish orange is Yuri. Then I'll how about I make tea some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sari mentioned, it's been widened so that the three there are one space next to Monica, one space next to Sari. Natsuki and Yuri will both walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table and train hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the, the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate and were used to make ears. Alright. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Straight so up, take one. So you grabs one first, then Monica and I follow. It's delicious! So I talks with a mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I, c I turn the cupcake around with my finger, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sinking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good! Thank you, Natsuki! What? Well, why are you thinking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this summer before? This is awesome. It's making a secondary reference, guys. Woohoo! Made them be or anything. I, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you know. But not for, you know, you dummy. She said, Baka. All right. All right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in the front of each of us before sitting down at the teapot next to the teacup tray. You keep the whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. <laughs> that's... that's not... Yuri insulted your looks away. I meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monika raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Sometimes, something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems a little really, seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and interesting. Exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to make your own club? You could probably be a board member of any major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about budget and public publicity. And how to prepare for events. I'd rather much... I'd rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to make, to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri is also not in agreement. 
and I'm surprised that there ain't any more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. No many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard and convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But when it makes school events like the festival that much more fun, or much more important, I'm confident that we'll really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they, they, they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Colby, what's your, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these, these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that question. Manga? I muttered quite quietly to myself half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. When I'm saying... I know I'm saying... I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. She looks pretty sad, actually. I like the character. I like the art in this game. It looks pretty good. And then, what about you, Yuri? Well, that, let's see. Her face is the rim of her teacup and her, with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship between behind them are amazing to me. And telling a good story is, in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Here he goes on, clearly passionate about her feelings. She seemed to be so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes lit up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. You know, I like lots of things. Stories with deep psychological elements, using immense, using it immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how how a writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you through a through a loop, loop, not loop, loop, <laughs> frick. Um. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I uh, I read a lot of horror book. Well, I'm under horror. Okay, I'm reading so fast it's because I want to get this over with because I have a, this is my second time playing through this part. Like, every time I play a visual novel, something bad it really happens. I want to get through this game, so I'm going to truck it through this episode, then we can do a good next episode. Okay, here we are. Okay, what was the last one? Because I messed up on that last one. I, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can I can relate to to a minimal level. This rate, Yuri might as well be behaving in a conversation with a rock. Really, I haven't expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes you think or takes me to another world, then I can really I can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful in changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Uh, I hate horror. Well, why is that? Well, I just... As the eyes dart over to me for a split second. Hurry up. Never mind. That's what you usually write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what What gives you that idea? You left me a piece of, you left me a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It's like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is cute as you are. So I sits up behind Natsuki and pulls her hands on their shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki! <clears throat> Natsuki, write your own poems? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think it's impressive. Why don't you stress them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. 
You wouldn't like that. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing oneself. You must be willing to open up your re to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience, Tayori? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example for no to help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess that's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. Well, I'll sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Oh, and let's go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Uh um. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think I can... I'll help us all get a little bit more comfortable with each other. Then strengthen the bonds of everyone in the club. I must have listened so much. Isn't that right, Colby? Tony cuts around warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's one problem. And what's that? Now that we've back on the original topic of me joining the club, I've only come up forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join the club. Sure, I may have convinced me to stop by. But I never actually made any decision yet. I still have another other clubs to look at. And, um... Please don't try to thought. All four girls start, stare back at me with dejected eyes. They look so bad. But, but... There's so many thoughts. <laughs> you all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear kind of decision when it's like this? That is, that is if a poem, that is if poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join, I'll join the literature, literature. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yes, I'm happy. So wrap John's I mean, up being up and down. Hey, hey. You really did scare me for a moment. You really do just come for the cupcakes. If you really did if you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Legend Club. Oh thanks, I guess. Okay everyone, I think that we can have a shame club today. That is meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Read a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we all can share. Ponyka looks over at me once more. Colby, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, I can really express the, the star. Can I really impress the class of Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Already. Already. Or already. I already feel the anxiety growing up inside me. You know how the girls came to chat and you're already not skipping up their food? Hey, Colby. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, so we never, we never walk home together anymore because she's always sitting at the school with gloves. Sure, we might as well. Hey! Holy god damn. I'm finally done. I, I don't feel like recording anymore tonight. My little lip boy, my leg. I'm not, my mouth is just soft from talking so goddamn much. With that said, guys, please like, subscribe for more Doki 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 Literature Club, and more videos from this guy right here, and I'll see you all in the next video. Sunny. <laughs>